Well, boys, it's been a few days since I uploaded a video. Um, well, we haven't had a whole lot surfing YouTube, answering a truckload of uh, comments from a couple couple uh, subscribers, and which is best going. Loves answering questions, not a problem. Uh, so what have I been up to? Well, um, the weekend passed. Uh, I had uh, a friend over and uh, replaced a, a bunch of our uh, wall heaters, uh, baseboard heaters, whatever, here in the house, after the other one decided to uh, explode. <laughs> we decided to, or I should say Maureen, decided to uh, replace the works of them. So we done that there last week, last weekend. And while my uh, buddy was out, help me with it he um gave me a bunch of radios to look at well basically donated a bunch of radios to me and wanted one radio um see if i can get one working which is this one over here and he wanted me to program another radio blonde to him which is uh, i can get it there's that fella there a ton tongfa tongfa UV-985. So. I don't know what year this thing was made, but it looks an awful lot like the UV-5R, don't you think? Looks a lot like a UV-5R. As a matter of fact, I got to have a UV-5R right here. So. Who copied who? <laughs> or is this made by the same manufacturer <laughs> but uh there are a few little uh differences i don't know make you wonder in any event that's uh that's where i'm at um i managed to get one of the radios working kind of working which is this one back here it's a Yezu FT-208R. It's an old 2 meter. Um, old synthesized radio from I think the 1980s. The uh, batteries are long since toast on it. Managed to get that one working. Need a new mic element. But uh, it seems to be off frequency by about 5 kilohertz. And then the other thing I'm working on is this one here. This is a summer camp Yezu FT708R. Um, it uh, was left in a damp, damp atmosphere or garage or whatever, and uh, a little tiny bit of well, it's got some corrosion on the controls and stuff, but not uh, <clears throat> a bit of good old contact cleaner can't fix or try to fix anyway. I had to replace the, uh, not replace, I had to find a couple of screws to screw this board down with. So I got that done. And the radio, if I plug it in, the NC8 power supply, charger here, um, was also given to me. It does work. As you can see, the lid is on there. Let's see. first got this one the uh, LCD screen wouldn't light up it was completely dead just like death even turned it on and that was got the board screws were loose <laughs> tightened them all up cleaned up the, uh, the contacts that the LCD was on on the board and taped everything down and well here we have it and it uh, takes frequencies Camp. The only thing is, uh, on this particular one, 
issue I have with it is that it will not go into transmit. Won't go into transmit. So when it tries to go into it, as you can see, she's slow coming out of it. So, I'm going to see if I can't resurrect this old 708R. Just the controls on it. Some corrosion still down there. I'm gonna take my time and go to her. There, UHF, all UHF portable. Why not? This little 20208 R. I'm using this one as a donor for knobs and stuff. This one is well, she definitely seen better days. She's the goner. <laughs> so I'm using this one as a, a donor. Try to get these two going. And then we have this one over here, which is the Yezu FT727R. It's a uh, dual band, VHF, UHF handheld. It's a radio that uh, he'd like for me to try to get working for him. So I will indeed do my best to do that. I did try powering it up on the power supply for my FT212RH, and I still have, and this one will not power up. So there's no power whatsoever on this one. Completely dead. The uh, squelch control is spinning in the breeze here, so i got to tighten that down. So I'm thinking the weekend I'm going to dig into this. FT727R a bit more. See if we can't get some life in her. That's what I'm hoping anyway. I'm going to do my best to get this one working. This is uh, too nice of a radio not to get to work. So between this one and this one. Well, I got me I got me hands full here. So. That's basically what I've been at. And, uh, and whatnot. So, anyway, I'm still here. I'm still around and still kicking. I'm just uh, playing. So, anyways, always want to see more videos on these guys. Give me a thumbs up, a thumbs up if you want to see more videos on these guys and a uh, possible repair of two of these lovely vintage radios. So let's see some thumbs up if you want to see these see, see repair videos on these guys. Anyway guys, all the best. We'll chat later I'm sure. And uh, I'll try to get some more videos up ASAP. I know we've been slack over the last few days, but been busy, busy, busy. Anyway guys, take her easy. 7-3, and we'll chat later. That's Reno 63. We're out of here.